<laughs> that was the sound of a Pendoctor Tripasaurus. So I just got done playing Entris, and right now I'm a little bit agitated. If you don't know what Entris is, it's a Facebook game created by Banana Neil, and it is like Tetris, but even more amazing. Neil added this new mode to it called Quick Play Mode, and I thought that I would try to get my name up to his on the high score list because he had a high score of 36. Person below him had a high score of 21. Piece of cake. So I play quick play mode once, doing pretty good, I think it's pretty easy. I get 16. Not good enough, but pretty good. So I start playing again. This time, I get 21. So I was tied with the person who had the second highest. This meant that my name went right below his. So I couldn't brag to Christy about how my name was next to Neil's. Then, the second place guy's score jumped about 13 points. So I've going to still try and get up there, but we'll see what happens. The really cool thing I think about this is that I tweeted to Banana Neil about how agitated I was and he responded telling me to keep trying and that made me very happy. Brag worthy to Christy about this. Nah. Okay, so now I'm going to do the whole play it forwarding tagging people thing. I was going to tag Peter Quint, but Christy beat me to that, so instead I have to choose two others. The first person I'm going to choose is Jen Jen Rocks. Normally she makes music videos, she used to make vlogs on her collab channel, but that got hacked, so it is no longer in service. And I really miss seeing her face, but I talk to her all the time, so that's good enough. The next person I'd like to tag is Brendan Linwood, because I love his videos, and my favorite group of videos is the one where he goes around in a wheelchair for an entire day, because that just means a lot to me. Uh, people with disabilities is just a big thing to me, because my brother is blind, and I've had to live with that and I know what it's like how people treat him differently but yeah so it means a lot to me that was not the sound of a pen doctor